Davenport, Korean speaking. Hello, Corinne. This is Chris Throgmorton. I'm wondering if I could speak with, um, I guess, uh, the city attorney or legal department or whoever I would need to speak with. Um, in, re oh. in regards to the, the trespass ban that I'm supposedly under. Okay, um, I have to, I'll get your message to the city attorney and have her give you a call. All right, and specifically what I would like to know is, um, basically I've been denied the, the uh, um, ability to inspect this public record that's, that's known as the LaPorte Police Department's trespass list. And, uh, and it's, the exemption claimed is that it's a law enforcement investigatory record. That would be a, a record that law enforcement compiled in the course of investigating a crime. Okay, um, however, December 4th, the Court of Appeals uh, ruled on a case, David Kiefer, K-I-F-E-R, versus the state of Indiana. That's opinion 19-A-C-R-1188. Um, I took the liberty of sending Mr. Otis a copy of this um, and sort of highlighted the meat and potatoes, which is, long story short, a, oh, what do they say? Um, we find it unreasonable to construe the trespass statute to allow a citizen to be permanently and perpetually banned from the premises of a public building intended to serve the community in which house several facilities that citizens need to access intermittently in the operation of daily life. Being that it's, the ban is no longer constitutional or legal and it won't be upheld for any sort of a crime. And I, I, long story short, being that the exemption was that these were, you know, law enforcement investigatory exempt, um, they are no longer able to be exempt because that doesn't apply and we can't retroactively apply some sort of other exemption which makes them now public record and I'd like to know when your attorney um, would it you know the, the police department's going to need to let me actually inspect this record not you guys give me a, a redacted copy this is a completely different process I'm assuming I'm gonna need a police escort for this or what I, I don't know I'm, I'm I'm just assuming you guys are gonna blow it out of proportion it can be actually very easily done there's a process outlined by the public access counselor for the state that goes over this but um I would like to inspect and copy with my own devices the Laporte Police Department trespass list um, I can be in today to put in a, a more current request or you can honor one of my previous ones based upon the change in circumstances and case law that is applicable to this but um, essentially I'm gonna need your counsel to address this um, he's denied it based upon these reasons that are no longer applicable so if this is a new denial um, you know I'll go ahead and put it on on one of your little pieces of paper and turn it in and then he can deny it and then I can appeal it with the courts and that's essentially, if that's what my options are, that's fine. I'll do that as I've shown. Um, I would just like, you know, being that they actually changed the interpretation of, of what he's quoting um, in the Court of Appeals and he's fully aware of it, if we can address this a little more appropriately and I'm just able to go through the very simple process that's outlined in APRA without having to waste a bunch of tax money and time and the court's time and energy and stuff like this. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'd like to uh, know if he's going to honor the change in the law per the Court of Appeals or if he is continuing his denial based upon the law enforcement investigatory exemption. Okay, I'll give him your and message. And if you, I mean, if you don't mind, um, it's kind of chilly out and I'm, I'm sure you guys don't want me running around the building videotaping myself doing yet another public records request. But if you need me to come down there and fill out, you know, for the same record that I've requested like seven times already, that's fine. But um, I, I presume he could just honor one of my old requests and, and still be within the process. But that's up to you guys. Okay. Um, go if ahead and speak you, with him. A, if we need you to fill out another one, we'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me a call and let me know if, you know. This is an express implied invitation to come down to the building to fill out one of those pieces of paper physically. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll give him your message. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
Ajá, bye.